What's going on guys? It is Jamil with Melman Studios. I'm here with my man, Alex, Red Cat Media. Check him out guys, I'll put his Instagram um, on the screen. But we are here in Osaka right now, pretty close to the hotel. We're gonna go and see what we can capture. Alex, what are you carrying today, buddy? So, this is my only my second time using this on a trip so far, but I'm gonna use the Z9 with the 51.8, only because it's still pretty dark outside right now. Yeah. So I'm trying to capture some of the detail without going too high. Uh, on ISO, so I'm gonna see how that turns out. Not sure. Cool. Good like. morning, guys. Hey. And uh, today I am using the Leica M11P with a 35 mil f2. Mm. We've honestly, guys, this is the, this is what our fourth day. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is our fourth day here, and or third day. Third day. Man, we have done so much. <laughs> we have walked so far, and we've gotten so many good pictures. So today's like the first day of doing street photography, and we wanted to bring you guys with. So whatever looks interesting, just kind of just walking around. Like Alex, Alex is an alley man. He loves the alleys. <laughs> well, the alleys are a different, they're a different vibe. Yeah. I love that. Let me turn that down here. I'm going for, going for a little bit of a darker composition I can light up later. I love the boxes in the front there. You can also crop in a little bit. That's nice. I think that'll turn out quite well. And during the day, this crab is lit up and it moves around. It's kind of wild. Oh, another cool thing that we have really learned to love. We've been to one coffee shop. Otherwise, we're getting our coffee from these machines. The best one, the golden drip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the golden drip is probably our favorite. So first few days we were in Tokyo, which is, we got amazing pictures there. But first POV we're doing it in Osaka. So we were at F5.6, 1 360th of a second, might go up to 1 500th as it gets a little darker, or sorry, a little more bright. And auto ISO. Still playing around with street photography. I know that uh, Jamil does a lot of it. I do none of it. <laughs> so trying to figure out some good flows. He's been teaching me a lot, honestly. Really taking the street photography to the next level with some of the pointers he's given me, which has been super helpful. Got to get one of them there. Let me make sure I get some of those behind the scenes. He got some sick photos of me, so. Got to make sure I get some sick ones of him too. Another big thing out here is bikes. Everyone has bikes and a lot of them are parked in the open with no locks. So far, I brought the um, 51.8, I brought the 24 to 120 F4, which is probably my favorite lens for the whole system. And then I brought the, um, 14 to 24 f 2.8 and I almost didn't bring the 14 to 24 but I found that the 14 to 24 has been the best for some of the street shots so far and I find I'm also very partial to the vertical the vertical shots oh bro 711 <laughs> Are you doing it? Uh, 100%. I gotta leave it. <laughs> your your uh, pancakes with the maple. What do you say? Maple syrup and butter? Yeah, but this one has chestnut paste. Wow, fancy. I wonder what the, what the butter is. Pancake with the margarine if I got it. For sure. How much is it? No, I don't know. Bro, to me, the price doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, let's try this. So, cheers. <laughs> no. It's amazing how legit that tastes. It literally tastes like it's soft, it's doughy. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. And you can taste the margarine. Oh. <laughs> oh. 7-Eleven doesn't miss. Another thing, 
good luck if you want to find the garbage. Matter of fact, I challenge you to find the garbage in the city. It's extremely clean. We haven't seen a dirty car yet. All cars are very clean. The roads are well paved, well maintained city. It's really beautiful. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we can cross the bridge and then make our way. Alex, what are your settings at right now, buddy? Um, we just got to a brighter area, so I need to make a slight adjustment, but I'm rocking at ISO 400, F1.8, and 1 320th. But I haven't been taking any photos of people, just kind of stationary items, so. And for me, I'm at, we'll do 1 250th of a second, shooting at 5.6. And my zone focusing, critical focus is at three meters, but we'll see as we go how that changes. You know what? We'll drop the ISO and then drop the shutter speed. I think that's good. Getting some behind the scenes. Four hundred. ISO, boom, I like that. Yep. Like the older car too. Oh, also the time. So it's 6.23 AM now. Alex and I have been getting up early. Four? Yeah, we're getting up at like four, 4.30 <laughs> and we're hitting the road. So I think that's the best way when you come out here. What's this on here? Yeah, I think we're heading this way. Yeah, let's go. I think yesterday I shot more with my Fuji than I did with um, than I did with my Nikon, only because of the the colors of the X Pro One. But I think Jamil's convincing me to get the uh, the Leica. He wants me to experience a gateway drug. <laughs> but I'm looking at the the Q2 and Q3. Um, really like the color profile photos he's getting. I typically like bringing the camera up to the eye, but for the purposes of this POV, it's not a bad idea to just bring it up so you guys can see what I'm shooting. It's just so rare to see garbage. <laughs> you almost have to capture the experience. I'm just gonna pull the screen out a little bit. There we go, that's nice. And we love the vending machine coffee, so. I feel like that'd be one of my favorites to see how that turned out. Ooh, nice. Love it. Let's see. Oh, the that's nice. That, that, it renders it. 1.8. Yeah, oh, nice 8. separation yeah. there, yeah. man. That's yeah. really nice. Oh, check this classic out. Yeah, we've been seeing some really cool bikes. I'm gonna go down to 64 ISO. I could probably drop my shutter speed down to 1 80th. As long as I hold this joint very still. I'm gonna try to get a wide one actually to get the, let's do it the straight there. And then get a crop in a little bit. Anything low 64 ISO. Really cool. Oh, got my own uh, photographer over there. <laughs> oh, Alex, this is a good scene. Check, see if you can get this. You have the 50 on right now? Yeah. Might have to go a little farther, but this is just a cool scene right here. Okay, come on over, no worries. <laughs> Bro, he's waiting for you. <laughs> Polite society. Okay, let me see if I can capture the moment of that. ISO 64. I'm watching a little bit of Nike's head. Check his channel out, he's awesome. 
Yeah, mine's running a little a little blue right now. Cool. Yeah, I'm yours. Auto. Yeah, I'm auto. Is yours too? Um, I'm no. I just changed the cloudy. How are you liking the trip so far, man? Honestly, it's been exceeding my expectations. You, know, you can see videos, you can see things that people do. I will say, it's always very interesting when you watch these videos on YouTube sometimes. Yes. They describe a place, but I feel like they're not the most accurate about the essence of the place. You gotta go. All these like websites that tell you all the things to do in these places, the most enjoyable parts of our trip yes. has been walking through the city, exploring, 100%. getting lost. You know, like for Osaka, they put the aquarium. I'm sorry, I don't care how great the aquarium is. <laughs> if I'm coming all the way out here, I feel like I'm gonna spend time in the streets and I'm gonna spend time walking yeah, around. I'm telling, I'm telling you, we haven't done anything guided. We've literally got to our hotel and then explore a radius around it, walk. Like I think our first, uh, first full day, we walked 28,000 steps. Try panning shot. Oh God, <laughs> bro, I almost biffed it. So yeah, I would normally use back button focus, but for street, Jamil was telling me not to do that. It makes sense. You can see the benefit of it. So now just kind of adjusting how I take pictures now for the moment. It's a, it's a different experience going back to shutter, shutter focus. Bro, I almost biffed it in spectacular fashion. How? That, see, okay, see like the, where the water drain is over here? You'll see it in the video, don't worry. <laughs> now light would make this so much better, but we'll, we'll yeah, make it work. Let's work the scene, buddy. Push up to the side with the yellow bike. Yeah, zoom out. I kind of like to zoom in though, to be honest. Up to the fringes. Uh, yeah, this one has awesome color. A little slow. Oh, way too slow. Well, that was zone focusing, and I think that was damn near critical. And that was three meters, so I feel pretty good at three meters. I think yeah. it's a pretty, I think three meters for me, 10 feet, I feel a bit more comfortable. Two is a little close, but we'll open up. Remember when I, I used to do street photography with a 70 to 200? <laughs> you got a different kind of picture. Yeah, totally. Yeah. That one, it's all about the subject, which is honestly cool in your own right, right? Yeah. Cool. What'd you get? Beautiful reflections. F8. I want to go down to 64 ISO. And we'll decrease the shutter speed. One. Oh my lord, that is beautiful. I like the water reflections, really nice. The city there, it's quite a cool experience. That is 64 ISO, 1 15th of a second, and F8. Yeah, but 70 to 200 street, I kind of clown it sometimes because that's kind of where I started. But honestly, I think it's just a different style. Like, Complete subject isolation, because I saw you got some nice telephoto shots the other day, isolating the subject, and yeah. you get some cool expressions and whatnot. So it's just a different style. There's no right or wrong way, man. Like, There's really not. No. It's, it's however you, if you feel comfortable, 
then that's the most important thing. I actually regret not taking the uh, 28. The 28 millimeter? Yeah, I actually have slight regret. Over the 0.95? Are you gonna keep that lens? You know what, man, I actually might sell it.